Well, there are many different types of derivatives. Uh, classically, the two categories would be a futures contract or an over-the-counter swap, a agreement between two parties to buy a commodity uh, at a fixed price at a fixed point in the future. You could think of a soybean future, which would track the price of a commodity like soybeans. Those products are listed on an exchange like NYC Life US. They are cleared at a clearinghouse and they are generally electronically traded and very, very transparent. So that's a futures contract. The other end of the derivative spectrum is of course an over-the-counter swap. And they are again derivative contracts that track a commodity or a interest rate or some other type of underlying, but they tend not to be standardized. They are customized derivatives that will track and satisfy the needs of those two parties. They also tend not to be centrally cleared. So you have what we call in the derivatives world bilateral risk, meaning if my counterparty in that OTC transaction defaults, then our contract is invalid. So another type of widely traded derivative is an options contract. Now, an options contract uh, in the world of futures is a derivative on a derivative. The buyer of an option has the right to buy or sell the underlying commodity, which in this case is a futures contract. Essentially what you're trading in an option is volatility. The price movement from day to day, week to week, month to month. The more volatile an underlying instrument, the more expensive the option. The less volatile, the less expensive the option. The classic purpose of a derivative is to allow an end user to manage their risk. If you think classically of an airline, the biggest variable to the airline industry are fuel costs. In order to be able to plan their businesses forward six months or a year, it's very, very helpful for them to be able to lock in those fuel costs because of course if fuel price prices spiked and those risks were not managed properly and were not hedged it could destroy the profit margins of a business. If you think about for a producer say a farmer so knowing that my crops are going to be harvested in six months and I'd like to sell my crop production right now to lock in a profit margin is again extremely helpful because as a farmer, if prices of commodities unexpectedly fell, I couldn't sell my wheat for what I had projected I would sell it for at harvest, it would again destroy the profitability of my business. So it really, futures really are, and all derivatives are classically risk management tools to help consumers and producers better manage uh, the key risks of their businesses. speculator could be a uh, mutual fund that is looking to diversify the risk within their portfolio and take a long-term bullish view on, say, gold. They viewed gold as a stabilizing factor within their portfolio, so they are buying futures on gold as a diversification tool. But they don't have a stake in the underlying commodity, so they'd be considered a speculator. Central Clearing um, takes a derivative contract and puts an independent third party in the middle. First and foremost, they collect what we call margin, which is a risk-based assessment of the volatility of the underlying contract that says that if either party in this transaction defaults, then I've got some cushion margin on deposit or if I'm forced to liquidate this contract, that I'll be protected against potential losses arising from liquidation. The second most critical thing that clearinghouses do is they provide an independent valuation of a contract every single day and frequently two or three times per day. Well, 
I think the most important evolution that we've seen in the last 10 years has been the move from physical trading pits to electronic markets where now it's not just big banks in Chicago or a few big trading firms in New York that have access to these markets. It is really global participants from Europe, from Asia, from Latin America that can access global markets and deploy capital and manage risks. And all of that uh, creates more transparent, more liquid markets.